that's probably good enough for now. And then we'll go with the combat drone, which is going to be useful for everything. No, shit. There we go. So upgrade this. Recharge, speed, yes. And then, yeah, just increase everything. Damage and shields or drone explodes when destroyed. No. Like a five meter radius. No, no, no. Damage and shields, please. Upgrade drone's short range attack to deal 220 points of damage across a 2.5 meter radius. Stuns enemies for a short duration or just flat damage and shields. Let's do a little bit of an electrocution, yeah? Upgrade drone with long range rockets that deal 330 points of damage across a 1.5 meter radius or upgrade the electrical pulse to hit three different targets. Let's do the rockets. Let's do rockets. No, I undid everything, shit. What was I doing? Uh, recharge, and then that, and then that. All right, and then a defense drone, we need one there. What? No! We're approaching the quarry and home system. ETA to Rannoch, five minutes. What have you got from the convoys? Just messing Pretty things up. Pretty much a big old shitstorm, Commander. Just messing everything up. I have up. detected several hundred unique ship signatures engaged in active combat. Yeah, like I said. Take us in, Joker. Stealth drive engaged. Only way they'll detect us is if you won't start singing the Russian national anthem. I don't know it. Do you know the words? My cyber warfare suite has accessed their docking protocols. Broadcasting the Reaper signal and shut it down. Tally's our expert on Geth software. She'll be handling hacking and security. Your expertise with the Geth is a welcome addition, Tally. Indy. So, a body. It has proven useful. I hope it doesn't cause you concern. Not unless you go crazy and decide to overthrow the humans. If I decide to overthrow the humans, you will be the first to know. How nice of you. Shepard, there's a problem. All tubes except one are physically secured. I see the free one. Pretty torn up, though. Too risky for the whole team. I'll secure the docking area. Everyone else can follow me over. Roger that, Commander. We'll just stay here. You know, quietly. Hang tight. It'll just be a minute. All right, so we're in. We need to go to the airlock, but first I need to upgrade my squad. I can't because they're not with me. Uh, all right. Super. I, they wouldn't let me like run or anything. Oh, I need to like go. Okay. I need to think and space things. So let's go this way. Things aren't looking so great. No wonder the Quarians were having trouble. That ship is enormous. It is 30% larger than an Alliance Dreadnought. Things are not looking up for us. I don't know which way to go, so I'm just... Do I have to go this way? Sure, this works. Don't get me wrong, this is kind of cool at all, but it's way too long. They cut this in half, this would be better. Unless there's a view every time I make it, but there's not. Head right through that. <laughs> Anything over there? How are you doing, Shepard? The lack of gravity is a little disorienting. The dreadnought has artificial gravity. You should be okay once you're on board. Mm. Till then, I'll make do with mag boots. Hey, take your time, Commander. We're fine until they, you know, look out a window. 
They don't look. Geth don't use windows, remember? Structural weakness. But the Geth are just sitting there saying, those organics would never try the no windows thing twice. They have sensors, though. Like, they don't need to physically see anything, but they have machines. They are machines. Looks like the rest of the team isn't using the docking tube. So I'm guessing you'd rather not solo the dreadnought. Not if I can help it. Ask Tally to get on the dreadnought schematics. If she can point me at another docking tube, I'll override the controls and let the boarding party on. Right. I've got gravity again. Great. I'm looking for... Got it. There should be a hull breach not far from your position. The nearest undamaged docking tube is on the other side. All right. I think I found that hull breach you mentioned. Admiral Geralt tried a frontal assault. We lost six frigates. That tiny hull was the only damage we did. I wouldn't call it tiny. Not the way you'd have done it? No, it was too aggressive. I argued, but as Admiral of the Heavy Fleet, it was ultimately his decision. Hmm. What about the other Admirals? Zen backed the invasion, largely as a chance to test her toys. Ron gave provisional support. Only Chorus opposed the war with me, and he was right. We could lose the whole fleet, Shepard. We'll get your people out of here safely. All right, well, I'm doing this solo. Picked up a smart choke for a shotgun. Probably because Tally uses shotguns. Can't upgrade her because she's not with me just yet. But uh, I'll probably change in time. Looks like this is the only way I can go. Oh, no. Wait, I can still make it. Anytime you're ready. Thank you. So weird to me that I, like, never need to turn on tech armor. It's just on. All right, should I duck here now, or...? I found another airlock. I think we're good to go. Great. If you override the controls, we'll be right there. Thought I heard the geth. But what do I know? Geth data? That wasn't very much money, considering what the other stuff I get is worth, but I'll take it. Anything else before I go up? All right, let's head up here. Give me something interesting. There's the docking controls. Doesn't look like there's anything else, so we'll just hit those. Got it. You're clear to board. Thank you, Shepard. I will try to find a more convenient docking point next time. Next time? Here, let me see if I can get this open. In the meantime, take a look at this. There, it's open. We're clear to go. All right, so, oh, here's an arc pistol just right in front of me. It wasn't there before. Um, new pistol, so let's see if it's better than what I got. It, ooh. It weighs a ton. Can I knock that down, though? I can't yet, so it's not worth it yet. It's not worth it. Looks impressive. But it's Admiral Zen's design. It transmits an energy pulse on contact that disrupts shields and synthetics. That'll be handy. That is much like using polonium tipped rounds against organics. So where are we headed? We're looking for an operation center. I can disable the Reaper command signal from there. Where's the closest one? Past their defense network and through a sensor cluster. That way. All right, uh, let's see if I can upgrade the squad then, you know, like I was trying to do. Uh, I think I had three ranks in sabotage. I think that was good. No, squad, what the hell? <laughs> Keep on hitting back and it takes me too far. What the hell's going on? Energy drain I was a big fan of. 
damage or a radius. It was damage, then this, and then uh, let's turn you into a tank. Once again, back. See, that was fine. Now I can finish out these points. Um, I feel like a defense drone would be good here. Every five seconds, it does quite a bit of damage, and it doesn't say how long it actually lasts, so I guess we'll increase its range, and then we'll call that good, and then Edie was already fine, so we're good to go. All right, that's all I wanted to do, kind of. Took a long time, but I finally sorted it out. Let's pick up the enhanced scope first. Then we'll look at the, the Guardian battery. Guardian anti-fighter lasers. I believe the dreadnoughts using ultraviolet frequencies instead of the standard infrared. Expensive. But it gives them an edge in close combat, though. When the fleet rushed the dreadnought, those lasers carved right through our ships. Come on, let's get to the op center before they lose more. All right, so we're off. No death yet. Move the bridge over. Watch out! Get the incoming! Knock him over! Oh, he's dead already. Alright, rocket trooper. He's gone. I think they were attacking a, a drone that she placed? That worked out well. Yeah. These guys are pretty easy. What? Um. <laughs> I don't understand what was happening there, but... Hey, stop that. Is there anything here? No. Fine, we'll move on then. Head down here. See if there's anything good. Operation center in the distance. Hey, buddy. We get lack self preservation instincts. Network intelligence. As we kill them, their attacks become more aggressive. You have engaged the Geth previously, Shepard. Tactical advice? Disable their shields. Then take them down before they recharge. What? Damn rockets. I mean, really, though, the Geth are not that difficult compared to everything else we've been taking on to this point. They're a marked step down. <laughs> Even the rockets. Anything? All right. More Geth data. A little bit more money, but still only 2,500 compared to 15,000 that I've been getting for other things. all Geth processes. The Reapers have them completely under control. Its structure is amazingly complex. It is unsurprising that the Quarians have been unable to disrupt it. Picked up a visor along the way? We may be able to extract combat data from these sensor panels. We're taking heavy losses. The Geth have a planetary defense cannon. It's ripping through our fleet. Is there anything we can do to help them? Just make their sacrifice worthwhile. All right, well, I guess I'll just keep pushing. Well, this is a battlefield. Why do we need to find the operations center? Wouldn't any access console do? Unlikely. Consoles like this are accessing programs being used by hundreds of guests simultaneously. They are all networked cooperatively. To disable the Reaper's signal from here, you would need to override all the guests. Do you ever wish you were like them, networked. No, I enjoy the freedom of intelligence without requiring consensus. You don't feel lonely being the only AI on the Normandy? I have the opportunity to socialize with the crew. 
and I do so for curiosity or pleasure, not out of cognitive necessity, as the Geth do. Interesting. Let's pick up the Geth pulse rifle here. All right, we'll change the loadout. See what does anybody want this? Well, actually, do you want? Do you want that arc pistol? I bet you do. We'll give you the arc pistol. Same with you, we'll give you the arc pistol. Because I don't care about uh, the other things. N nobody with me has a, has a rifle. All right, is everybody on the right gun? You're on submachine gun. You're on the Grawl Spike Throw. All right, that's good. Nothing else around here? All right, let's move on. The Dreadnought Operations Center is just ahead. Good. Let's cut the Reaper signal and get the fleet out of here. The Hunters are moving in! Damn it, I can't lock on. Because, you know, cloak. God. We must find the remaining hunters. That's the last of them. Let's see if that console is operational. All right, head to the console eventually, but for now, let's see if there's anything kind of around here. They give me a lot of room to maneuver, which is not my style in this game. I feel like I can't really do that with even with my shields. I feel like it, it's way too risky of a play. Look at how much data the Dreadnought Central Processor is handling. Their threaded processing is remarkably effective. I would not be able to handle that much data alone. Nothing. Nothing else seems to be going on around here. Just a couple. What we was need to that? Hurry. My people are getting torn apart out there. Hold on, there was like a fucking rocket or something. I wanna know what that was. I didn't see anything on the ground. You know, outside of these like cords. Oh! Well, they have like landmines. Good to know. Bet it doesn't trigger when they walk over it either. All right, there's the Geth data. Operation Center console. We'll pick up the SMG scope first. Level three. All right, I think we're good. Damn it! They've locked down the Reaper signal. We can't shut it down from here in the Operation Center. There, the Reaper signal's coming from the drive core. So if we get there, we shut it down. Right, but how do we get there? The Geth have sealed emergency bulkheads to block us off. We need a route to the drive core that can't be blocked. A path that runs the length of the ship. Outside. What about the main battery? It runs right by the drive core. That could work. But? The Geth still have us locked in here. We need to get these doors open. They've locked high-level processes. We need something basic. A shipwide emergency. Like a fire. What about the heat diffusion system? Wait, if I faked a thermal warning, it would open all maintenance tubes for emergency venting. Would that override the lockdown? Yes. Okay, I've got it primed. But be ready. I'm reading hostile gap on the other side of the doors. Shocker. Get all right. Dropping from the ceiling. Oh. Wait, hit him! Why, why wasn't he hit? I don't know, she wasn't moving for me. Trying to get him to bounce using the overload, which is really powerful on them anyway. But. Let's get to the maintenance shaft before more reinforcements arrive. All right.
right, where are we going? That way. Main gun battery. Already done with this room as far as I can tell, so. Let's roll. Mmm, <laughs> that one hurt. This ship design is almost quarian, but not quite. It's meant for synthetics, not organics. Intriguing. I found the geometric shapes intuitive and comfortable. I assumed you all felt the same. I can detect the faint presence of Geth intelligences. Those not loaded into mobile platforms serve in the ship itself. For all our cybernetic upgrades, I'll never understand integrating that completely into a system. Shouldn't be too much farther to the main battery. I'm surprised they'd send you on this mission, Tally. Even admirals are expected to serve. I'm better at hacking than I am ordering ships around. All right. We're good to go. After this loading screen. There we go. Looks like there's a lot of stuff that could be up here, but probably isn't. We're also at a point of no return, it seems. Unless there's something for me to do over here. Like I said, there was so much opportunity and then nothing. No, there's a ladder. All right. No point in no return. But still. Those aren't good sounds. Those are not good sounds one little bit. Not giving me too much room to go anywhere else. Why? Why would you do that? Just thank you. Grab that. 1250. Yes. It Priority message. Survivors? They got to escape pods, and I've got Admiral Ron trying to establish a secure link. Put her through. Shepard, this is Ron. The heavy fleet is collapsing. I don't know how much longer we can hold out. We'll have the Reaper signal deactivated shortly, Admiral. We're trying. It's kind of difficult. Come on, open up for me. Ah, fine. Those aren't good sounds. I'll just be back here, I guess. I don't like what I heard down there. I don't really see much, but... Looks like they started up some generators or something. It's the Inception sound. Watch well... Right. 